All right, everybody, welcome to the video for lesson number uh, four on uh, who chose number 360 anyway. So in today's lesson, we learned how to convert from degrees to radians. And let's just go through some of the homework questions here, and hopefully this is helping you uh, get through it all. So for the first one, for 45 degrees, we know to take 45 and multiply it by pi over 180. If you reduce the 45 over 180, you get 1 fourth. So this just becomes pi over 4. For 120, we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to do 120 times pi over 180. If you reduce the 120 over 180, you get a fraction of 2 thirds. So you're going to get 2 pi over 3. Now on the flip side, if we would convert from radians to degrees, we're going to multiply by not pi over 180, but 180 over pi. The pi's essentially eliminate each other, so then we could just do some reducing or some simple math to figure out the answer here. So that winds up giving us an answer of negative 150. Don't forget your degree symbol. For 3 pi over 2, we're going to multiply again by 180 over pi, because that gives us a radian measurement. Again, the pi's are going to cancel, and if we multiply out what's left there, we get 270 degrees. 450, 450 is more than one full rotation. We know that from previous lessons, but it's still just a degree value. So again, we'll multiply this by pi over 180. And then if we do some reducing, um, we should get something like, we get a decimal of 2.5. So we could say 2.5 pi, or we can convert that to a fraction of 5 halves and make that 5 pi over 2. Either way, it's exactly the same answer, so it doesn't really matter. A lot of times, we'll see that radians are shown as fractions in simplest form. Number two says, consider a circle with a radius of three, a sector. Uh, so it's talking about sector lengths, and it's talking about radius. So we know that we're going to use this formula we learned today, s equals theta r. Remember, theta must be in radians to use this. S is the length of the sector, so that would be 2 pi. So it says the sector of the circle has an arc length of 2 pi, so that is S. It says the radius is 3, and we don't know the angle. So if we divide both sides by 3, we get theta equals 2 pi over 3. And the last part says to convert your answer to degrees. So if we convert that to degrees... Since we know that this is radians, we're going to multiply by 180 over pi. The pi's cancel. I may simplify, and I get 120 degrees. For number three, it says to explain how radian measure is related to the radius of the circle. And it says to draw and label an appropriate diagram to help support your response. So the radian measurement is essentially the number of radii that fits around the circle for the open angle. So... If I was to draw a circle, this angle is the same number of radii that fit around this edge here. You can write out a whole written response here um, using everything that we learned today. But basic idea here is to say that the number of uh, radians that the angle opens is the same number of radii that fit around the edge of the sector of the circle. For number four, it wants us to compute some values. So the first thing I would do for all four of these would be to convert them to degrees. So for pi over six, I could really just replace pi with 180, and we wind up getting 30 degrees, because we knew that from uh, class today. So this becomes cosine of 45 degrees, the sine of uh, 60 degrees, bad. and the sine of 90 degrees. Now the first three need your special triangles. So if I just draw out our special triangles down below here, so if I have my 30, 60, 90, and my 45, 45, 90. So the sine of 30 is going to be 1 half. The cosine of 45 is going to become 1 over square root of 2. If you're an accelerated, I would expect you to rationalize that. For regions, I really don't care. You could leave it just like that. For the sine of 60, I'm going to get square root of 3 over 2. 
look at your triangle. And the sine of 90, this is one of those special quadrantal angles, or angles that terminate on the x or y axis. So the sine at 90 degrees, or essentially the y value at 90 degrees, is just 1. Same thing here, but we first have to do some converting. So 7 pi over 6. So if I do 7 pi over 6 times 180 over pi, I wind up getting 210. So 210, that's too big. It's in quadrant 3. So if I do 210 minus 180, that gives me 30 for the reference angle. So again, I'm using that 30, 60, 90 triangle. So the sine of 30 is 1 half, but in quadrant 3, I know sine is negative, so this becomes negative 1 half. I've already done the conversion for cosine here, so essentially this is really just asking us for the cosine of 210, or the cosine of 30, which we know is the square root of 3 over 2. But again, since we're in quadrant 3, it's negative. For 5 pi over 6, again, we're going to multiply by 180 over pi. The pi's cancel, and we get 150. 150 is in quadrant 2, so to find the reference angle in quadrant 2, we do 180 minus 150, which is also 30. So in quadrant 2, we know sine is positive, so that's going to be positive 1 half. We know cosine is negative, so that will be negative square roots of 3 over 2. Notice they're the same values, or the same ratios, but because they are different quadrants, some are positive or some are negative. The last question says, if angle theta is between 0 and 2 pi, this really just means 360, so within one full rotation, how many different possible values do you have for a negative sine value? So I know sine is positive in quadrants 1 and 2, so it can't be here or here. So it's either got to be a quadrant 4 or 3 angle. So there are two possibilities here. Now the thing that I have to figure out is, well, what triangle is going to give me this angle? square root of 3 over 2 ratio. So I know that we have this 30, 60, 90 triangle, so essentially theta is 60 degrees. I know that because 60 degrees would give us that relationship from memorizing the special right triangles. So now that I know that theta is 60, what angle in quadrant 3 would have a reference angle of 60? So essentially what I'm asking you is what angle minus 180 equals 60? So that answer is 240. So that's one possibility. Then in quadrant 4, I'm saying, well, what angle minus uh, subtracted from 360 gives us 60? Well, that would be 300. So those are the two possible values. But these are degree values. I don't want degree values. If you look, the answer that they want is in the relationship of radians. So then I have to convert these. So I'm going to do 240 times pi over 180. If you reduce uh, that, it becomes 4 pi over 3. That's one possible answer. For 300, if you do 300 times pi over 180, you wind up getting 5 pi over 3. So those are the two possible answers there that you have for that. Hopefully this video helps. Again, if you're struggling with this, please come and see me. Don't wait till it's too late. All right, all these different concepts come up again when we start graphing this, which is the more important part of the chapter anyway. Good luck.